Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! With me now is the uh, man with more voices than Theresa May's cabinet. Actually, that's not as hard as it sounds, Rory <laughs> Bremner. Uh, Rory, uh, during the years of the coalition, and in fact before that, you were saying it was all getting a bit dull because the arguments all seemed to be about economics. Yeah, well, well yeah, sort of politics true. is back, isn't it? And is, oh, that, is, that, is that great for you? Well, I think we went through a generation, really, when economics, I mean, the fact that, you know, you were a business editor, he or a political editor, Faisal Islam at Sky, started out in economics, Evan Davis at Newsnight. And that was a sign, really, that economics was the only game in town. And then when the crash happened in 2008, there was always going to be a backlash, and I think that's what we've seen on, on both sides of, of the Atlantic. I mean, that was what left the door open for, for, for the... So are you, feeling, are you feeling energised and excited well, yeah. for, for the first time since, I suppose, because well, you, you, well, you came to prominence really during the Thatcher years, yes. when, when these political arguments were yeah. huge. Absolutely. Does it feel Does it feel like back in, being back in the 80s? It does, it, of course, because Spitting Image was a time we had Reagan, uh, although, like, you know, Donald Trump makes Ronald Reagan look like... F.D. Roosevelt. I mean, it really does, you know. I mean, he's now looking like a statesman. I mean, this, I mean just 4.30 this morning in American time, this appeals judgment that, that uh, it's, it's actually challenging Donald Trump. I think 4.30 in the morning in America, the only person who's awake is Donald Trump. He only has I about a, five hours sleep, apparently. I got a tweet about this. I got a tweet about I think there should be a website called Trump Advisor. You know, I loved, I loved, I, in this tweet yesterday, um, and this slightly took us back to enemies of the people and, 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 and the judges vote, he called them so, he called him a so-called Judge. Yeah. Well, I mean, that does invite so-called president, doesn't it? And so-called, I mean, you know, <laughs> what's this country coming to? What's the, you know, if we got a constitution and lawyers, what's it coming to? So, so we got that on that side, and of course, a Brexit on this side. And I think, in a way, you know, it was, this was a backlash that was going to come. Um, and uh, I think, in a way, this fascinating thing about Brexit is, I think, I think you know, the, the, the people have spoken, and they came out. Uh, of course, the Scottish referendum was the first time when we really saw politics was changing and a new kind of engagement in politics. And then Corbyn. As well, that was another reflection of it, uh, and Brexit. I can't help feeling sometimes I think that you know, in a way, the public was barking up the right tree but at the wrong cat because I think <laughs> the problems weren't necessarily caused by immigration in Europe, but as a result of the recession and austerity. If they couldn't see a doctor, it was because the health services in crisis. So the coalition was a desert, well. thing, was it really? Uh, well, there were one or two. I mean, David, David Cameron. No, I, you, I mean, you remember David, don't you? I mean, David. I, and, I, and I think you know, there we are, he was doable, and I, and I, and I was sad about Europe because I love Europe. I went to a lot of places in Europe with my father. We went to these wonderful countries like. Switzerland and Liechtenstein and Luxembourg and, <laughs> and, and, and Monaco and, and Jersey and the Isle of Man. And oh, no, I remember, and he said to me, he said, he said, my father, he said, trust me, something to do with trusts. Uh, anyway, and, and, you know, one day all this will be all. But no, look, I, you know, I won an election I thought I'd lose and I lost a referendum that I thought I'd win. So I think, I think we can call that quits. I'm certainly off anyway. Um, so, yeah, so there was Cameron. And there, but, I mean, the other were, we were short of characters, Phil Hammond. I mean, we thought John Major was great. I mean, Phil Hammond mm. makes Is he John, doable? No, well, Phil Hammond makes John Major look like Camilla Batman. Mangelid. I mean, he's, <laughs> you know, I mean, he's so great. I don't think Phil Hammond's wife knows what he sounds like. And Chris Grayling, I mean, you, the, clue, the, 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 clues, the clues in the name, isn't it? Chris, Chris Grayling. Um, but, you know, but we got Nigel Farage, got him. And, uh, you know, he's, although he's resigned and coming back. But, um, and Donald <laughs> Trump. And we got, uh, and we got, well, there's a few out there. There's a few characters. But I think what's interesting, we're on tour at the moment, just about to start the tour but, on but, Tuesday. But, but Boris must be a challenge, though, because Boris. You, 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 stop right there. You know. <laughs> I, you, you, yeah, I, but how do you send up a man you, who sends himself up no, the whole is, time? The, that is the that is the big question. That is that is that, <laughs> that's the point. That's the point. The trouble is that they are beyond parody in many cases, and in the case, in some sense, if you make them look really stupid, it's not going to stop them because you know they it's it's it kind of bounces off them like like pea shooters on a tank, really. And as Peter Cook famously said, you know, uh, 30s cavalry in Germany never stopped the rise of, of Adolf Hitler, but. If we, are, if we make them out to be complete clowns, then it gives them a space to operate. And people say, oh, it's just Donald Trump or it's just Boris Johnson. But I, knew, I think we need, to, uh, we need to fight fire with facts. That's what we need to now, do. Now, uh, can I just... Can I hear yeah, you? please. For example, the European fact, for example, we, people talk about 300,000 people coming into the country every year. Yeah. Now, do we realise 170,000 of those are students? 
for example. And I think that, to me, that's a fascinating thing. If you could take students out of the immigration figures because they pay large tuition fees, uh, they either stay in the country and have well-paid jobs and pay tax or not. Well, one like of the striking things, actually, that Boris Johnson said on this programme is he, he would rather agree on this. Yes. With, with, he'd, re, he'd agree with you on this and actually disagree with Theresa May. He thinks yeah. students shouldn't well, be in the immigration uh, figures. But now, as a, as a famous member, as I suspect we all are in this room, of the uh, liberal, hated liberal metropolitan <laughs> elite... How dare uh, you? At the, uh, we're, we're obviously all in favour of the rise and rise of, of women in politics, but that's a problem for you, isn't it? Uh, no, because luckily Jan Ravens exists. But you can't, you can't do Theresa May, can yeah, you? No, but why would I? Because, I mean, you know, she's perfectly capable. Of, although, funnily enough, the best Thatcher impression was a man, was Steve Nally. Yeah, of course but it was. On, on the tour, which we're starting on Tuesday and going around the country, going to Preston and to Salford yep. and all these places. Uh, are, are you Jan doing Ravens, it with Jan? Are you the Jan double is, act? Yeah, Jan is joining the second half of the tour. The first half, we've got some politicians, Alistair Campbell's coming, doing one, Owen James oh, so, so, is doing so, one, so, Anna so, Subri. So, so, what do they do? So, what are Campbell and Jones it's called do. partly political, yeah. um, and as it starts on Tuesday, yeah. and it's part stand-up, and it's trying to make sense really of the nonsense that's around. Um, so, so when part... Campbell's on stage with you, what, what do, um, do you do Blair with him? Or I how thought does... we might dance, to be honest. I thought we might. And <laughs> you get I his think, bagpipes uh, out. Yes, we're going, to, we're going to interpret Brexit through the through the the, the medium of dance. Um, no, I think it's really. Interesting. I think people <laughs> are engaged. Falls on there then. <laughs> exactly. Well, yes. Uh, yes uh, I sometimes. Well, this is a funny thing actually because it's funny. Yeah. Well, this is where Brexit uh, is all of a piece with Strictly and X Factor yeah. and things. Because, you know, you, you ask the public a question and, and they, the British public, you know, you ask them to name a polar research vessel and they say, Boaty McBoatface. Who's the best dancer on Strictly? Ed Balls. <laughs> Who's the best singer in, on X Factor? Honey G. What are you going to do with Europe? We're going to leave Europe. And, and the judges have to sort it out every time. I quite like the idea of Louis Walsh being the Supreme Court. Theresa, you really are a member of the Metropolitan League because that was one of the most the people are always wrong statements I've ever heard. I mean, yeah, I, I, actually, in, in a world in which Nigel Farage becomes Prime Minister, I would, I, would, I would watch your back well, if I were but you. No, but it's simple. You see, this is the thing. <laughs> this is, it's, it's disingenuous when David Davis says, you know, do you trust the people or not? Uh, well, um, who was it? Uh, was it David Lammy? That's right. 75% of his constituents. Yeah, but sadly, oh, I've got to wind yeah, it up there. Yeah, We've all, all we've got time for. Brilliant <laughs> guests. I've no idea who they were. See you next week.